Did you know that the seven days of the week are directly linked to the seven ancient planets? This is no accident. Ancient civilizations like the Babylonians and Romans believed these seven wanderers had a profound influence on life on Earth. These planets included the Sun, Moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. But here's an interesting twist. The word planet comes from the ancient Greek word planetes, which means wanderer. These celestial bodies were called planets because they seemed to move or wander against the backdrop of fixed stars. The days of the week are named after these ancient planets. Intriguing, right? Each day carries the legacy of these celestial bodies and gods associated with them. Ever wondered why it's called Monday? Simple, it's named after the moon, or as it's known in Spanish, lunes, derived from luna. No mystery here. Sunday is named after the sun, the brightest planet in the ancient skies. Saturday gets its name from Saturn, the majestic ring planet. Now, things get a bit more interesting when we look at the rest of the week. Different cultures infuse their mythology into the days, giving us the names we use today. Tuesday, or in Spanish, Martis, is named after Mars, the god of war. But in Norse mythology, it's linked to Teep, the Norse god of war. Wednesday, or Miércoles in Spanish, is named after Mercury, the swift messenger of the gods. In Norse mythology, it's connected to Odin, Thursday is named after Thor, the Norse god of thunder, which links it to Jupiter, the Roman king of gods who wielded lightning. Friday, or Viens in Spanish, is named after Venus, the goddess of love. The Norse equivalent Frigg, the goddess of beauty and love.